this is Heather with a Grow Shop Tech Tip. Today we will be discussing back drive and braking for electric motors. Back drivability is defined as a degree of ease which a motor or gear motor can be driven by its attached load when a power is removed from the motor. As you can see, motors are easy to back drive by turning the output shaft by hand. While gear motors are more difficult to back drive depending upon the gear reduction ratio and the efficiency of the reducer. Easy back drivability can be useful when moving high mass loads where the motor coasts as a heavy load comes to rest. Easy back drivability can also prevent the load from causing damage to the gear motor in some applications. On the other hand, if a gear motor can be back driven by its application, it could be a safety hazard. Most applications require back drive to be controlled, holding a load at intended position. A brake can be mounted to the end of a motor to accomplish this. There are many types of brakes today. We will look at two styles of electromagnetic brakes. This brake consists of an electromagnet, a spring, a friction disc, coupled with a motor shaft and two clutch plates, all in a small motor housing. In applications where back drivability needs to be minimized when the motor is not working, a power off brake is used. When the power is removed from the motor and brake, the electromagnet releases, causing the friction disc in the brake to be clamped between the clutch plates, which are forced together by the spring. When the power is applied to the motor and simultaneously to the brake, the electromagnet in the brake is energized by pulling one of the clutch plates away from the friction disc, releasing the brake and allowing the motor shaft to turn freely. Be aware, this system can still be back driven above a certain amount of torque, depending upon the torque rating of the brake. Some applications may require the system to be back drivable when power is removed. In this instance, a power on style of brake is used. This style works opposite of the previous style as it requires power to engage the brake. For example, if we have a crossing gate in the vertical position, the brake on the gear motor operating the arm is energized, locking the gear motor and holding the crossing arm up even though power is removed from the motor. In the event of power failure, the brake would disengage and the weight of the crossing arm would back drive the gear motor to the horizontal position, a matter of safety. This has been a Grow Shop Tech Tip. For more information about any of our products or to review other tech tips, please visit us online at www.growshop.com.